Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. In this video, I will cover all the essential Java 8 stream methods with real world example. Think of it as a quick playbook you can use for interview preparation or a fast refresher on Java 8 streams. But still, if you want an in depth look at each method, I will also have a dedicated Java 8 playlist. You can check out that. Okay, alright. So, without any further delay, let's get started. So here we'll discuss each and every method of Java 8 stream API which is widely used in industry. Rather than giving hello world kind of example, I want to cover all the methods and their implementation with some real time use case. So for that I have created an employee class with couple of field, id name department salary gender and this employee also mapped to list of project. So I have created a project class with project code name client and view lead name. Also to simulate the database use case, I have created a hard coded employee and project object. You can see I have created 10 project object and I have created 10 employee object. Okay. And each employee can be part of one or many project. Okay. It's just I am trying to map multiple project to a single employee object so that we can try different use case as part of this series. Okay. Cool. Now let's begin with the very basic method of Java 8 stream API that is for each method ok so to demonstrate that first let's go to the main class and let's try to face the list of employee from the database for that you can call employee database dot get all employee it will return you the list of employee object right now after getting list of employee object you might want to fetch all the employee and you want to print them for your local testing or for some debugging purpose then what you can do usually in our before java 8 we do something like this right employee we just do iterate them right e employees then print out each and every statement what you need as part of employee e dot let's say i want only the name like this we do right but to simplify this java 8 help us with a method called for each okay so let me remove this I'll just add a note for each okay so you have the list of employees you want to iterate them so rather than doing it manually just use dot for each method okay if you see the for each method it takes the argument as a consumer we know consumer is a functional interface it have the method accept with the input so you just need to convert the same method as a lambda expression as part of this for each ok so how we can do that just simple step you have list of employee get employee one by one then just sys out what you want to print let's say i want to print only e dot get name ok or also i want to print something like e dot get salary now if you will run it it will print all the employees name and salary so let's test it now here is the result we got all the name and their salary ok so this is the simple way to iterate the list or map whatever the collection data structure you have you can directly use the for each method so again there are two different approach to use this for each method first one you can directly iterate the list of employee like the way we have done here and the other one let's say you have a list of employee and you want to perform some data manipulation over the stream then you want to iterate then you can simply do like this employees convert it to the stream then do some operation then you can simply use the for each again it takes the consumer just define the way you want to print the result okay simple but again you can also simplify this statement lambda expression to method reference so i have a dedicated video about method reference 
I don't want to deep dive into that. Rather, I just want to cover the essential method of Java 8 stream API. So if you want to convert it to the method reference, just use system dot out. Then the method available in the print stream class, just define the double column. And what is the method you want to use? println. Like this, you can do. Now if I run it, it will give me list of employee object. It will simply just print them. Can you see here? Fine. So we understand the very basic method that is for each. Now let's move to the next method that is filter. So again, this filter is an another interesting method which is widely used in industry. Let me give you one use case. Now, if you observe, we are printing here list of employee object. But what I want, I want to print those employee who belongs to development department. How you can do that? Usually in traditional Java, we write the if condition, right? Similar way, if you want to execute some condition on stream, you can directly use the filter. Okay. So how you can do that? Let's say employees, I want to convert it to the stream. Then once I convert it to the stream, what I want? I want to filter the employee who belongs to development department. So for that, you can just use filter. And if you observe, see the argument, this filter takes the argument as a predicate. Okay. Again, this predicate is another functional interface who will take the input, which is nothing your condition. Based on the condition, it will return the true or false. Okay. Again, you need to convert this to the lambda expression as part of this method. So what you can do, you can simply say, okay, I'm getting the employee. If e dot get department dot equals what I am searching for development. If you found any employee who belongs to development department, then collect that in the form of list. Okay. And give it to me. Now you, you have a filter employee from the development department. Okay. So if you'll run this, just define employees from dev department. For now, let me comment this. Okay, I don't want to print it again and again. Now I just want to execute the filter statement. Just run it and we'll see the result. Can you see here? There are few employee, they belongs to development. So if you want to see the count, you can print in a different way, but this is just a list of employee. So I'll just filter your number of count. Total five employee. Okay. Now again, you want to filter it further. I want to check the employee should be part of the development department. And also I want to check employee salary should be greater than 60,000 or 7,000. You want to add a multiple condition while iterating the employees or while filtering the stream you can do something like e dot get salary greater than what you want to print 65,000 right now just run it again you found couple of employee object can you see here if you want to again see the count just filter it all the five employee having the salary greater than 65,000 you can see here Okay, so you can increase it little bit to validate whether the filter is working or not. I'll give some number. Let's define 80,000. All the employee who belongs to development department and their salary greater than 80,000, I want to filter them. Just run it. You can see here, we have few employee object. And if you want to see the count, there are total three employee who belongs to development and also their salary is greater than 80,000. Okay. And how we collect the result using collect collectors dot to list. Okay. If you want to collect them in the, in the form of set, just convert it to the to set and just change here set. 
this is up to you this collect method giving you option how you want to collect the result out of the stream okay now let's say i don't want to print this ugly statement like the entire employee object i want to print only the id of the employee and their name so what you can do how you can keep pair id and name you can use the map right so you can simply change it to to map okay and then you can just collect or you can just get the key and value what is your key that i want employee dot get id is my key and what is the value you want to keep i want to print their name okay again i am using the method reference here this is crying because the because of the return type just change it what it will return to you now it will return a map okay development employees now if i will run it i will get the result of all the employee from the development and whose salary is greater than 80000 we observe we have the three employee belongs to this condition right and now we convert them to the map rather than printing the ugly statement i just want to keep the id and name in a map now if you run it can you see here six sophia eight and ten these are the three employee object who satisfied the filter condition and we also have the option to collect them the way we want okay so here we cover two method one is the filter and one is the dot collect so this dot collect collectors dot two map or two list or two set if you go inside this you have lot of method you can see here right two unmodifiable map there are so many methods partitioning by there are so many methods just go through this documentation even you can find the real time example i mean the correct use case it's just the hints for you just go through each and every method if you want to know more about these collectors and here they also provided well defined example you can go through it so for now we understand we can convert it to list set and map further we will understand how in other way we can use these collectors fine now let's move to the next method that is map okay again without this map method you won't find a single syntax in your real time implementation if your project is using java 8 then you must have seen this map method and this map method is really interesting we will understand what exactly and why okay let's consider a use case you have this list of employee object right out of this list of employee object you want to fetch all the departments development sales hr finance whatever the department you have you want to collect them or you want to fetch all the name present in the list okay for example you have this employee class if you want to fetch a unique field id all the id or all the name or all the department then how you can do that simple thing right just go here just iterate the list and then print the way you want get name or get department whatever you need right but that is what we don't want what do you want we want all the field or all the specific field and we want to collect them how you can do that simple thing that is where this map will help you to extract a single attribute from out of the list for example i want to fetch all the department what i can do employees then convert it to the stream then what you want to map i want to map the employee department fine then i want to collect in the form of list or set whatever you want let me collect in the form of list okay then just define the variable which will be list of string all the department now you can again convert this to the method reference we have the class called employee and what method you want to use get department because we want to only extract the department field from the list of employee okay now if i'll print this sys out departments let me comment this now if i'll run this 
I can see the result development development sales HR finance development all the department okay but if you observe the result contains duplicate development is one department already I know why should I keep three de development string how can I avoid the duplicate simple thing right we know set does not allow duplicate just change it to set and also change it to set now if you will run it you will find the unique element no duplicate will be there can you see any duplicate here no right but you can do that there is another methods offered by java stream that you can use to eliminate the duplicate element from your stream you can simply use distinct okay so here we understand map and distinct now if you run it you will find only all the unique object can you see here so you understand why to use map if you want to extract a single attribute from the list whether it is name all the name or all the salary or all the gender then you can use the map method okay and to avoid the duplicate you can either use two set or you can use the distant method fine but what if i want to fetch all the project name if it is a single class employee class then i can use the map to get all the department i can use map to get all the names but if this employee have the nested class and you want to extract the nested class attribute which is nothing the project name will the map method will work will validate that okay so what do you understand if you want to extract the single attribute from a simple class then you can use the map now what we need we want to fetch all the project name which is nested to this employee class okay let's try it with the map then we'll see the result so what do we want we have the employees then we can convert it to the stream fine then we can just use the map what we need we need the project name and the project is part of employee class so just use e dot get project can you see here this itself is a list then what you can do simple thing right we can convert it to the stream then again we can do the map what you want you want the project dot get name then just collect it to the list or set whatever you want just define a variable what is the result you can see here is this list of string list of project name no this is nested class list of stream of string because employee is a class and to the employee we have a nested class called project and you want to fetch the nested class attributes then in that case if your class have one too many this is the one too many then you cannot use the map to extract any field from your nested class you cannot use the map then what you can use simple there is another method which is again interesting you cannot skip any method from java stream api so the method name is flat map okay so how you can do that simple just use employees dot stream then just use flat map instead of map then convert it to the stream e dot get projects dot stream first convert it to the stream then use the map to get the desired field that is what project p dot get name now collect it just define the variable now if you will print it this out projects let me comment this now if I run it, I can find all the project. Again it contains duplicate. If you want, you can use the distinct method to 
avoid the duplicate you can see here right we have the result so if you have a nested class and you want to extract the attribute from the nested class use the flat map if you have a single class there is no nested class then you can directly use the map method the way we have done here okay so this is the key difference between map and flat map fine now let's move to the next method that is sort or you can define sorted okay now let's say you are getting list of employee you do call employee database dot get all the employee you are getting list of employee but you want to sort list of employee based on some field based on salary or based on name okay how you can do that usually we have the comparator right you can use collections dot sort and pass the comparator or create a separate comparator implementation class but if you are using java it stream you can do it in a single line or single chain how you can do that it's very simple just use employees convert it to the stream okay then what you want to do i want to sort can you see the argument here comparator okay super employee because it already when you added the dot sorted it already identify what is the element in the stream that is what you can see here right now you can directly use comparator dot comparing based on which field you want to sort i want to sort based on e dot get salary okay then once you sort it i want to collect it on, in the form of list okay you can again simplify this to the method reference employee dot get salary right fine now if you extract the result it will give you sorted employee that's it how simple is this we just use comparator dot comparing then we simply provided based on what field you want to maintain the sort okay so based on that the stream sorted method will take care of it now if you want to print sys out sorted employees let me comment the previous one you can see the result employee you can see right list of employee in sorting order based on the salary so first salary is the 55000 then what is this second employee object salary it should be more right yeah 60000 then third employee salary should be what is the salary 72000 okay so it is giving me list of employee so it's difficult to read it right so what we can do we can just print it sorted employees dot for each just print the list sys out now if you we'll run it it will print all the employee object and you can see the salary here right 55000 came first then 60000 then 72 then 78 then what is the next then 80 85 like this right so it is showing from the low range to high range 55 to 95000 this is which kind of sorting this is of type ascending sorting but i don't want to keep ascending sorting rather i want to maintain the sorting in descending order then how you can do that it's very simple just a simple change in the same code so better i will just name it asc fine now i'll copy the same code for descending sorting what do you want to do just change the variable name you need to tell to the sorted method hey when you are sorting it do one thing just reverse the order how you can tell him just tell him collections dot reverse order give the comparator logic okay now if i'll print it sys out or better let's for it let's let's iterate it let me comment this now if i'll run it 
you will see the result here let's check the salary yeah can you see here now 95000 came first from high range to lower low range can you see here this is what the descending sort fine now let's move to the next method that is mean and max now again this mean and max similar to the sorted but let me go through a different use case let's say i have a list of employee and i want to only fetch a specific employee who is getting the highest salary okay so now if you say hey i have this descending sorted employee right from this i can use something like this descending sorted employees dot get zero the first index will be my highest paid salary similarly if you want to find the lowest paid salary then you can use ascending sort employees dot get zero this will give me the result right but fetching the index from the list is not the solution to simplify this use case java stream itself provide you mean and max method to perform your aggregate function okay now how you can use this max method to find out the employee who is having the max paid salary simple just use employees convert it to the stream fine then just use dot max if you see here based on what you want to find the max again you need the comparator that is the reason i mentioned before it is similar to the sorting okay so here you can mention comparator dot comparing or you can define right based on salary right comparing double you can define employee dot simple right now just define the variable it will return you the optional i'll talk about optional in other methods okay max paid or highest paid employee something like this similarly i also want to fetch who is getting lowest payment okay so for using max in that case you can use the mean the method name itself self explanatory right so just change it just change it to the mean and change the value lowest paid employees so you can print a result for both one mean and max highest paid employees now let's just comment this just run it are you getting the result here highest paid employee let's see whether it is 90,000 95,000 or not yeah we are good and lowest is 55,000 right so we are good here so mean and max you can use similar to the sorted but it, it is something similar to your aggregate operation okay if you want to find the max from a list of stream you can use the max for lowest one you can use the mean that's that's straightforward now let's move to the next one now let's go with some complex use case okay so you have this employee object right till you want to eat 10 and some of the employee is male some of the employee is female now what i want i want to write or i want to write a java stream logic to filter out how many male employee i have how many female employee i have i want to group the employee based on the gender how you can do that already i give the answer right i want to group based on some field so in java it stream there is a interesting method called grouping by the way you have done in your sql similar way you can write in java it stream to group the list of object based on some specific field okay so let's do that so the next method is grouping by again you can find this grouping by use case in real time implementation okay so what you can do you have the list of employees you can convert it to the stream then what you want you want to collect the result grouping by gender okay so just collect the result i don't want to use the set 
rather i want to use the grouping by based on what you want to group based on the gender so employee gender okay now what it will return it will return key as your field based on what you want to group and value as a list of employee object so it will give you a map so if you see here can you see here string is nothing your key or based on what field you want to group and value is nothing let's say this is male right group of male employee object this is female list of female employee object like that it will keep okay so what i can define here employee group now you have this map okay so what you can do you can simply print it let's not make it complex i thought to iterate but let's keep it okay so you can just define employee group now if you'll run it before that let me comment previous operation now if i'll run it let's see what will be the result can you see here female is this and who all are female id2 is female let's see gender is female this is also female and if you scroll right you will find male fine so since this is list of employee object of 10 employee it's really difficult to read this right so rather what i want i don't want to print the complete employee object i just want to print for example like this gender and name of the employee okay so male who all comes under male just extract their name and just show me the result in a map then what you can do i'll just modify a little bit i'll just use the same code now what you can do you tell to the stream hey group by this gender but what value you want to keep in a map you need to inform that how you can inform that simple just tell him here collectors dot mapping now here what value you want to keep i want to keep the employee only name in the form of what in the form of list so you can define collectors to list okay very simple so in the value part just do the group by based on the gender then while mapping the result in the value part just keep list of name and i am defining how you want the result just remove this just define a variable can you see here this string is nothing your gender name male or female and list of string is nothing the username or employee name so i can just define employee group names just print it just comment it for now now if we'll run it we got the result right female these are the female candidate male these are the male candidate okay so how many is there in female and how many is there in male that i want to evaluate how can i do that it's very simple so what i want to do here i'll just do something like this see i already explained the grouping by but i am trying to cover different huge case so that it will immediately strike on your mind when you got some huge case on grouping by okay because you should also worry about this collectors dot mapping now what i want gender and their count okay so what you can do simple thing let me copy the code because you already know how to do the group by then employee dot get gender just collect the counting that's it collectors dot counting it will give you map of key as a string value as a long okay employee group count map now just print it sys out employee group count map just comment this out 
run it we have the same candidate i mean count is same female is 5 male is 5 okay this is how you just try using each and every method and think about some scenario to represent the data out of the stream and you can play each and every method i mean you will be familiar with each and every methods okay so we are done with the grouping by so let's move to the next one that is find first okay so this find first method will be useful when you want to find the first element from the stream for example you have something like this right employees dot stream now from this stream i want to find the first element or you do some filter condition from that filter condition you want to find the first element okay let's do that dot filter okay employee e dot get department dot equals okay so you want to filter the employee who belongs to development and it will give you two three five n number of object right out of that you want to get the first element from that stream just define the variable here this will return you the optional okay so find first element this will give you the optional so how you can get the result from the optional simple right sys out find first element dot get okay this will give you the result but what if there is no employee belongs to this development then this find first will give you the null right and null dot get will always throw the null pointer exception so always try to avoid writing dot get directly from the optional instead of that you can use find first element dot is present it will give you the boolean similar like the if okay if it is present then just call the get method because here already you validate if the element is present in the list then it will give you true so that it will execute and in this way you will avoid the null pointer exception or you can also do find first element element list let it be dot if present then get me the result this is the better way to define you are checking if present then only execute this in this way there is zero chance of null pointer exception now if you will run it you can see here right the first element and his name i mean first employee object and his name okay so if you don't want to handle like this still you have option to directly play in the stream chain you can say okay find the first or else give me some default value let's say new employee empty employee object in this way there is no chance of getting error because you are giving the empty employee object there is no chance of getting null pointer exception so it will give you the employee right you can print it now again if you don't want to return the default value and you want to throw the valid error message you can do something like this find fast or else throw the exception okay for example you are searching some order object from the db based on the order id and the order id input based on that there is no order record present in your db then you, you usually throw the error right order not found with this particular id so in that case you can handle the exception using or else throw okay so here let let me define new illegal argument exception for now you can provide your business exception saying that employee not found with the id if your return type is optional and you want to throw the valid error message you can use this or else throw method okay now if you want you can print it sys out find first element you got the result 
because your stream contains the employee object with development and it give you the fast element but what if i will search some different department which is not there xyz then it will search the find fast it won't find anything then it will simply throw your error message let's run it and we'll validate are you seeing the error okay this way you can propagate the proper error message in case of any error if the return type is optional so let me revert it back similar to this there is another method called find any okay so the method name is find any element from the stream so let me copy the same code instead of use find fast use find any and then whether you want to throw the error message or you want to return the default object that is up to you okay so the difference of using find fast and find any this find any will be used in parallel stream for example you have a large data set and you are iterating them but you just want to validate whether the record is coming or not based on condition or based on some uh, stream operation whether record is coming or not based on that you want to perform some different operation then rather than wait for find fast to face the result you can use if any record is found then process my flow that way you can use the find any okay other than that there is not much difference between this find fast and find any both will behave like same okay if i print it sys out find any element if you find any element then continue the flow that is what i want to do using find any now let's run it okay great now let's move to the next one that is any match so there are similar type of method any match all match and non match okay so if you read this method it is already giving the clue what each method does right so out of the stream if you are searching something if any match found then give me the result if what i am searching from the stream if all the element match then give me the result if there is no match then just give me the result so what it does it take the input as a predicate similar like your filter okay all these three methods take the argument as a predicate you give the statement or condition to evaluate it will just give you true and false okay for example i want to search employee is there any match for employee from development department okay like that i want to do so what i can do employee dot stream then instead of use filter i just want to know whether is there any match or not i can use any match i'll just add the condition because it also allow predicate right just give it then what it will return it will return the boolean value just capture it and print it let's say development simply you can write some statement okay now just run it let me comment this one just run it the result is true because from the stream we have the employee who belongs to development if i will give some random name random department name and if i will run it i should get false can you see the output we are good here right now similarly all match from the stream whatever the condition i am giving i just want to check whether all match or not okay let's say i just want to check from this list of employee whether all the employees department is development or not okay which will be not because we know we, we know the employee database right we have different department development sales hr finance like this okay so i want to just validate all matches how can i do that simple right just copy this again it depends on the use case what you want to perform for example you are getting some result from upstream then you want to validate okay the the specific field what i am looking for 
all the element what I have it matched to that field then process the record that is what right in different use case you need to choose different conditional operator fine so let's say the, I will change it to all match all match again it allow the predicate you just provided this and I will just print true or false let's remove this statement the expected output is false let's see what we are getting are you getting false okay or let's understand this in a different way I want to check all the employee whether their salary is greater than 50,000 or not okay that match I want to validate I want all the employee salary should be greater than 50,000 if that match then I want to return it true okay so what I can do e dot get salary greater than 50,000 now let's see what will be the result because we know the last salary we have 55,000 right it means all match should return true now because based on condition all the element in my stream satisfy it okay let's run it we are getting true okay similar way you can try for non match so just copy the same code element or non match something like this okay employee dot stream check if there is no match of employee whose department is this HR let's say and you want to print it sys out is non match let me comment everything let's run it false because in the stream we have the employee who belongs to HR team now let me give some different value which is not there in my stream ABC there is no department called ABC and I am checking employee should not be belongs to this if yes there is non match then give me the result we are getting true ok so based on your use case you can choose any match all match or non match this looks similar but have the different purpose to use ok again it depends on your use case how you want to validate your stream or how you want to execute your condition uh, based on your business fine now let's move to the next one that is limit ok limit is something you can use let's say you are getting 10 employee object and you want to get only first 3 then you can keep limit with the value ok so that, that is something long for example I want to find out top 3 highest paid employee in my organization ok so what I can do I can use employees dot sort stream dot sorted then I'll give comparator dot comparing based on what salary right employee dot get salary then I'll just do collect this will give me in ascending order so I just want to reverse it you can also reverse here or you can use collections dot reversed which we already discussed fine now just capture the value it will give me ok already have defined this now what this will return me this will give me all the employees right so sys out top paid employees it will give me all the employee object from the stream if I will run it it is giving all the employee object right but what I want I want only top 3 employee object so you can just restrict that from the stream saying that ok I need only the 3 element fine now if I will run it better let me print their name because it's it's giving me the list and it's not easy to read line by line top paid employees dot for each I just want to print the name e dot get name or even you can extract the name by using dot map we already discussed that I'll just run it 
it is giving me three name okay because the restriction i have set here three if i'll set four i'll get top four paid name i mean top four paid employee name can you see here then let's move to the next one this is what the use of limit and again it depends on your use case how you want to pass the value and make sure it should be dynamic based on your implementation now let's move to the next one that is skip again it will take long value okay so when to use this skip method it's very simple for example let's say you have this employees dot stream right now it will have 10 element out of that you want to skip five element first five element and then you want to collect the result so i can use the same now if you will just add it uh, just define something okay skip employees so what it will does you have the employee dot stream while fetching it you are telling to the stream hey skip the first five element if it is present okay then you will find the result of rest five element in your list okay because we know right we have 10 element in our employee object right so that is the reason i am saying here skip the five and give me the rest five okay this way you can skip basically this skip method is used for pagination purpose no one explicitly use it until unless you don't want to handle the pagination by yourself if you are not relying on the db pagination you want to handle by your own business logic then you can use this skip to maintain the page show me first five then skip that then move to the next then skip 10 like this if like that if you want to keep the page size you can do like this okay so this is what the purpose of using skip okay so i believe we are good we have discussed lot of methods let me list down let me summarize what all method we have discussed so we have discussed near to 15 or 16 method which is really important i didn't bring the other methods i didn't discuss the methods which are not being used okay so for each we understand for iteration purpose then we have used the filter to just evaluate the condition then collect to collect the stream result into the different collection data structure like list map or set then we use the map method to just extract a specific field from a class we have used the distant method to avoid the duplicate we have used the flat map to just get the value from nested object and then we have used the sorted we also do the sorting based on ascending and descending by salary then we understand mean max aggregate function then we did group by the stream based on the based on some field that is gender then we have done find first find any then these three condition any match all match non match then at the end we have discussed about the limit and skip there are few more method specific to the map underlying data structure or map collection so i will cover them separately based on the response from this particular video okay so i would suggest you to go with each and every method try with some different scenario not the same what i have done here try with some different scenario and explore more methods by going through the source code also do let me know in a comment section if you have any doubts that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video meet you soon with a new concept